Hi darling, how is everything going? I hope that all of you are doing great. In this video, we are going to discuss Unit 9, Lesson 1, which is entitled Training and Employment. Working, whether paid or unpaid, is good for our, our health and well-being. It contributes to our happiness, helps us to build confidence and self-esteem, and rewards us financially. So let's start with the discussion question. Work is good for you. Discuss. Well, being in work enhances our sense of identity. Work is good for our emotional well-being. Social interactions play an important part in our life. Achieving work goals gives us a sense of fulfillment and satisfaction. What about you guys? Think about it. Do you think Work is good for you, or it's useless thing to do. Okay, let's open your pupil's book, page 96, unit 9, lesson 1. Um, this is an email which is written by Dan. Dan and Julie have agreed upon something, okay? So let's read the email, and by the end, we should figure out what Dan and Julie had agreed upon okay hi uma how are you i hope you've all settled in your new house and neighborhood it must be a big change for you all did you use the removers company that suggested in the end there has been a big change in my family too unfortunately it isn't a good one basically dad was made redundant from his job as an estate agent just after you left and he's still unemployed as you can imagine this is putting a lot of strain on us all because we don't know when he'll find another job because of the recession very few companies are taking on new staff at the moment well the highlighted words are the words that we are going to discuss in the upcoming slides settled in Settled in, adjective, settled in. Settled in means to feel comfortable about your life, home, or job. Like when I tell you, I'm settled in my new house. I'm settled in my new job. Settled in. Removal company. Removal company. Noun. Removal company is a company responsible for moving furniture and other things from one house to another. Redundant. Redundant. Redundant adjective. Redundant means repeated and not needed. Redundant. So, estate agent. Estate agent. Noun. Estate agent is someone whose business is to buy and sell houses or land for people. Like if I want to buy a new house, I go to the estate agency. It's the place itself and meet the estate agent, talk with him, and he offers me the uh, houses or um, the lands um, that are available um, according to my budget in order to buy it. Unemployed, 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 and it's an adjective. Unemployed means a person without a job. He's looking for, for a job. He's not working. Okay. Strain, noun, strain, noun. Strain is stress, pressure. Worry that is that is caused by having to deal with a problem or work too hard over a long period of time. Okay, recession, recession, recession. Noun means a difficult time when there is less trade business activity in country than usual. Dad has been for two interviews at estate agencies, but he hasn't been successful. He's quite worried about the situation, as he says that employers probably think 
think he is too old to take on. I told him this is crazy because he's only 42. He is also concerned that we might not be able to keep up with the mortgage payments on our house unless he finds something soon. Interview. Interview. Now, a formal meeting at which someone is asked questions in order to find out whether they are suitable for a job course of study. Okay, the first picture is employer. Employer. Employer is a person or organization that provides job for people. Okay. The second picture is employee, employee, noun, someone who is paid to work for someone else. If you remember in Christmas Carol, um, Scrooge was the employer and Bob Cratches, his clerk, was the employee. Okay, so employer is the boss. Employee is the person who works okay for someone else employment employment noun work the fact of someone being paid to work for a company or organization for example when i tell you she was offered an employment in the sales office employment Concerned with, adjective, worried about, adjective, involved in something or worried about something. Parents are always, are always worried about their children. Keep up with, keep up with, it's phrasal verbs. It's a phrasal verb to continue to read or learn or know about something, like what, for example, he made an effort to keep up with the technology. Mortgage. 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 The T is silent. It's a noun. A legal arrangement by which you borrow money from a bank in order to buy a house and pay back the money over a period of years. The difference between loan and mortgage. Loan is an amount of, is an amount of money that you take from a bank in order to buy anything except uh, real estate. Mortgage is an amount of money that you take from a bank, but you, 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 you buy or you use it in order to buy real estate. Mortgage. Luckily, mom can still look on the bright side. She says something will turn up sooner or later and that we can all economize until it does. She's also asked her boss to give her overtime whenever possible to increase her income. My sister Julie and I have agreed not to ask for pocket money or treats so that we can cut down on spending. I, or I have also applied for a Saturday job at local shoe shop. I let you know if I get it. So here we understood or we um, have figured out what have Dan and Julie agreed? Yes, they have agreed upon that they won't ask for any pocket money. Look on the bright side. Look on the bright side. It's an expression that means to find good things in a bad situation. Like when I tell you, look on the bright side of the Corona crisis as it reinforced reinforce the bond between the families and the friends turn up turn up phrasal verb means happen economize economize or economize verb according to the accent to reduce the amount of money time goods that you use Over time, over time noun, time that you spend working in your job in addition to your normal working hours.
income income noun the money that you earn from your work income apply apply verb to make a form, formal request usually written for something such as a job a place in a university i apply for a new job i apply for the university mom very supportive of dad and helps him a great deal with job hunting last night she told him he should maybe consider retraining in a field that hasn't been affected by the recession she said he could easily become an accounts teacher since he's, he's got a degree in accounting and schools are always looking for staff so he's considering doing a teacher training course in the autumn he might even be able to get a grant to do it mom says he's practically guaranteed a job once he graduates that's all for now. I'll keep you informed of any changes. Take care, Dan. Supportive to adjective. Supportive to giving help or encouragement. Job hunting. It's noun. Job hunting. Trying to find a job. retrain verb retrain verb to learn or to teach someone the skills that are needed to do a different job field field noun area of study work or interest degree noun degree noun a course of study at a college or university or the qualification given to a student after he or she has completed his or her studies accountant noun accountant noun someone who keeps the records of money received paid and owed by a company or a person accounting 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 noun Keeping records of the money a person or a company earns and spends. Grant. Grant. Noun. An amount of money given to a person, especially by the government for a special purpose. Guarantee. Guarantee. Guarantee verb in it can and, and it can also be a noun but in this context it is a, a verb to promise to do something or to promise that something will happen a guarantee and it is not written by the way it's verbal but the written is called warranty 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 this is graduate this is graduate its verb to obtain a degree especially a first degree from a college or university this is a graduate 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 noun someone who has completed a university degree so graduate and graduate both have the same spelling but we pronounce it differently the verb is graduate and the noun is graduate this is graduation noun graduation the time when you complete a university degree course or education at high school inform inform verb to tell someone about something or give them information So the comprehension part on page 96 the words in bold or wrong write the correct words number one dan said used to work as an estate agent number two very few companies are taking on new employees now number three dan said feels quite worried about his situation four 
Dan's mom wants to work overtime. 5. Dan is trying to get a Saturday job. Excellent. 6. Dan's dad might do a teacher training course in the autumn. Perfect. Okay, page 97, vocabulary part, circle the correct word. Number one, the company is making people redundant. Excellent. Two, Gail wants to retrain as a nurse. Perfect. Three, removal companies help people move house. Perfect. Four, some employees do not get paid for overtime. Perfect. Mark has been given a grant to study at college. Six, our income has dropped by 30% this year. Perfect. Excellent, guys. Okay, the word formation. Complete these sets of sentences with the correct word, which part of speech is each word. We have discussed the difference between every uh, uh, part of speech. Number one, people who are unemployed must try to economize. Perfect. B, Billy studied economics at university. C, an economist studies financial markets. Two, number A, Clark is a graduate, excellent noun, of Yale University. B, Joe Joe's graduation ceremony is next week. Excellent. C. When will you graduate? Verb from college. Perfect. Number three. She's the best applicant. Excellent person for the job. Applicant is the person. Number B. You should apply. It's the verb for this job. C. He sent six letters of applications today. Perfect. Number four, Sam, number eight, Sam felt embarrassed about her mistake. B, please do not embarrass yourself. Finally, see what an embarrassment can, can't be, I can't believe she heard us arguing. Thank you. Economics, now, economics. The study of the way in which money and goods are produced and used. Economize. Economize its verb to reduce the amount of money, time and goods that you use. Economist. 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 Noun. Someone who studies business and the way in which money and goods are produced and used. This is graduate. This is graduate. It's verb. To obtain a degree, especially a first degree from a college or university. This is a graduate. 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 Noun. Someone who has completed a university degree. So graduate and graduate both have the same spelling but we pronounce it differently. The verb is graduate and the noun is graduate. This is graduation, noun, graduation. The time when you complete university degree, course or education at high school. Applicant, 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 noun. Someone who has formally asked, usually in writing for a job, university, place. Applicant. The verb is to apply. To apply. To make a formal request, usually written for something such as a job, a place, in a university. Application. Application. It's a noun. A formal Usually written requests for something such as a job or a or place at university. Application. Applicant. Application. Apply. 
Embarrassment. Embarrassment. Noun. The feeling you have when you are embarrassed. Embarrassment. Embarrassed. Embarrassed. It's an adjective. Feeling nervous and uncomfortable and worrying about what people think of you. For example, because you have to talk or sing in public because you have made a silly mistake. Embarrass. Embarrass. It's the verb. To make someone feel ashamed, nervous or uncomfortable, especially in front of other people.